What is going on guys, Tizwafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, it was the first day of fall, we bought some fall crops and, and planted them, as you can see, we have over here. And uh, we did it in a pattern where we're hopefully going to have a sprinkler there, or, you know, uh, whatever this upgraded sprinkler is, we'll have one right there. It's going to water all these crops, another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, and I think here. Oh man, this one must have, uh, that, must, that piece of dirt must have got untilled or whatever. I did get a comment actually saying I should make another, uh, a scarecrow, because we have one right here. I, 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 it definitely makes sense because we're expanding the farm down here and oh man our watering can is almost empty so uh, let's like speaking of farm let's actually take care of it by watering all the crops and stuff uh, it does look like I have one crop that I did not water unfortunately that one right there it didn't grow overnight so that kind of sucks uh, we only have a few of our crops right now that are being watered by the sprinklers so we have a lot and by the way yeah I missed out on a lot of corn I probably had corn I could have harvested last episode or whatever and I didn't see it yeah, I definitely want to check. I, I did get a comment reminding me to do that and by hovering over all the corn. Oh man, there's one right there too. Uh, hovering over the corn, that, that way I could actually harvest. And apparently, for farming XP, you only get uh, like, like farming XP from actually harvesting the stuff. You don't, you don't get any farming XP from like planting crops or tilling land or anything like that. So I uh, definitely want to actually uh, harvest as many crops as possible. I'm trying to look as closely as possible here to see if I'm missing any uh, anything else. Oh, whoops. I guess it don't really matter if I overwater right there, not that big of a deal, but all these over here, big lanes of three right here, perfect for our new thing. Doesn't matter if we have a thing right there in the middle that doesn't need water, I'll water it anyways. And speaking of uh, crops that we could water, we still have a few eggplant in our inventory. I'll skip that at least for right now. We have a few eggplant in our inventory still, we definitely want to get those planted. Uh, just kind of planted those randomly, haphazardly, not really planted them in spaces where I want to have a uh, sprinkler, so it's not that big of a deal if uh, we place them like on the outside edges. That's what we did at the end of the last episode. In that race against the clock, we barely made it before 2 a.m. Uh, so by about right here, we do have, boom, the upgraded uh, thing, so there you go. How many do we have? We have uh, nine eggplant. Ooh, and we, yeah, we have fertilizer as well, so let's definitely do that. And I got comments reminding me I still have some uh, plots like over here I could uh, plant some stuff at, especially right here around this sprinkler. I don't know why I don't. Oh, and uh, did I mention? I don't think I mentioned it just yet, but we do have an epic seed. Someone commented reminding me about the epic seed. Where, where did I keep? I think it was. Oh, yeah, man, there's so many things. We have the mailbox here. We have the chicken coop, by the way. Chicken coop is done, too. It's amazing. We have mixed seeds right there and the rare seed. Perfect. Let's read that. Uh, so in the fall, yes, and it takes all season to grow. Uh, I think that's misleading. Someone commented saying it takes 24 days to grow. Uh, so I'm like, you need to grow. Basically, it, it basically grows for the whole entire season. Uh, but, oh, maybe they meant that if I had a fertilizer like speed grow. Ooh. You know, what? I might, I might just do that anyways, just for safety. I think I'm, I'll place down a speed grow somewhere. So, uh, where do I have? You know what? I don't know. I think I, I kind of want to place it where, can I, uh, I can't like double fertilizer whatever i kind of want to put the rare seed where it's always going to get watered like by this sprinkler so i'm going to put it right here boom we have regular fertilizer there not that big of a deal but we'll put that there at least for right now and then uh what do we have eggplant yes boom there you go and for some reason this, these eggplants are making me think of eggplant parmesan it's kind of crazy i don't know if you guys have ever had that it's kind of an interesting texture there but let's get these watered boom there you go and i okay i'm going to water all right i'm going to fill it up anyways i don't think the watering can has enough to uh to get these done over here, but we have four more seeds. Let's get that going. And didn't we have mixed seeds just a second ago? Yep, but oh man, we have two of them actually. Boom. So let's plant those down randomly and water them as well. Do not want to forget about that. It's 10.30 a.m. Yeah. Like I said just a minute ago, we do have that chicken coop. That is done too. Uh, we want to go over to Marnie. You guys confirmed it in my, my suspicions last episode. Uh, oh, I don't think... It, okay, I guess, I guess we'll just have a speed grow then, sure. Randomly for the mixed seeds. <laughs> so there you go. And then water, of course. But we do want to go to Marnie and actually buy chickens off of her. Someone actually left a very helpful comment, like, like giving me a bunch of tips for, like, chicken, like, starter tips, I guess you could describe it as. <laughs> but uh, we want to go over there and buy, like, one white and one brown chicken, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so apparently you could, like, buy one chicken at a time or something. I don't, I don't, we'll figure out over there, but uh, if she tries to give us two of the same colors, like, back to back or whatever, we just back out of the transaction or whatever. And uh, Oh, and by the way, yeah, we have mushrooms to get to. Uh, and that should reset it, right? Back it out of the, the menu or whatever. 
Anyways, uh, we got this letter in the mail. We did this last episode as well. So many things going on, you guys. I have so many notes from last episode and things I want to do. This episode is kind of crazy. I, I've been, <laughs> we're four, almost five minutes into this video. I'm still doing the intro, basically. But we got this letter here. Waffle, I found your lost item. Be more careful next time from Marlin. Yeah, remember we paid him like what? Like 50 gold or something like that last episode to actually get this ghost fish back from the mines. We lost it when we died in the mines two or so episodes ago, right? So uh, that's good that we got the ghost fish back, especially because I believe, yes, it is a... Uh, thing for the community center so that would probably be fish tank river fish light lake ocean special it's got to be that one right yep boom uh ghost fish right there okay so put that there and then we have uh, some corn over here i want to go put up as well so let's put that up over there and yeah uh today is what is her name penny's birthday so let's give her the gold star poppy right there it's 11 20 a.m so i kind of want to go talk to her right now what time does marnie uh 4 p okay, four, so we have a little bit of time to go from here to the museum uh, to give Penny uh, the, the, the poppy right there. I don't know. I, I might I might wait to do the ghost fish thing later at the community center. I feel like it's going to take a little while to go from here all the way over to here and then back over here to Marnie's Ranch. I don't want to cut down through this to get to Marnie's Ranch. I'm like, I guess I could, but I feel like Penny's going to like get out of school. I don't know. I'm like, I have to go through all this stuff here and I'll probably, I don't know. I, I guess we could do it real quick, but uh, I did get a comment from someone talking about chicken tips and stuff like that. So I'm to get the mayonnaise machine and to get, I hope I have enough wood for this, a chest. Yep, 90 wood, perfect. I think that's enough. I think you only need 50 or something like that, right, for a chest. But there you go. Uh, but yeah, you could actually dispense hay from the chicken coop. I think I mentioned that a couple episodes ago. Fiber put that up and Clay's could put that up as well. You can, you can dispense the, the hay from the chicken coop that we have stored up inside of the silo. You guys remember over here, we have the silo that's holding all the heckin' hay. We can only, it only tells us, hey, you have a, <laughs> hey, you have, <laughs> hey, you only have 231 out of 240 of hay inside there. Uh, we're not able to actually grab any of that hay out of there, but if we come over here to the chicken coop, which another tip, super duper helpful people in the comments, you guys don't know how, how helpful <laughs> you guys are, there's no way I, there's no other word to describe it, golly. Anyways, uh, let's put the chest down over here. I guess we could put it right here, or like right here. There you go. And then uh, that they said to put the mayonnaise machine there as well. And this thing right here, yeah, this is the hay dispenser. So this is how we get the hay out of the silo. And they said to actually empty the silo and put all the hay inside of the heckin' uh, chest over here. I don't think I want to do that on the camera right now. I might wait until like nighttime or something like that because it's going to take quite a while to try and do that. And remember, we do have a uh, cave over here with mushrooms. And I think, yeah, I think there's the same mushrooms we had at the end of last episode, so no big deal here. But I do kind of want to rush over to the museum, go talk to Penny, give her her thing. Either that or I guess we can always go to her trailer, but at the same time, still want to go over to uh, Marty's ranch. Let's go put these uh, mushrooms up in the foraging thing. Oh, whoops, do not eat that, golly. <laughs> put that up in there, there. And that should be fine. That should be fine. We have some corn in our inventory. Not that big of a deal. We threw out the watering can as well. We might have some foraging items up there, but I kind of want to rush on over to the uh, to the school, to the museum, whatever, uh, and actually go see if Penny's over there. Give her a Oh, what is this? A cutscene. We have a uh, what's her name? Robin and uh, Mayor Lewis. Oh, uh, hello there. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is this his voice? <laughs> this might be the. Uh, this is just going to be his voice whenever I read it out loud. Right now, I need I need to remember to give everyone voices and stuff. <laughs> Uh, hello there, Waffle. You showed up at the perfect time. Uh, what, like 12 p.m. or something like that? I guess that's, that's the perfect time. It's our new special orders board. Ooh. Yeah, we're underneath uh, Mayor Lewis's area, so this is like a different part. Yeah, if we go over here, we're at the museum, so I know where this is. Robin and I built it from scratch. I doubt that. It was probably all Robin. She was the one hammering whenever I got here, too. Um, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm on your side, Robin. I'm saying that. Oh, God. <laughs> What was that sound effect they gave Lewis when he jumped in the air with shock right there? Sounded like he pooped his pants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was this voice? Hold on. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, ignore her. <laughs> Why does he have that voice? Now, let me explain. You see, with French Toast Farm back in business, the local economy has been really picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. Well, we have that other bulletin board over there, right? So I don't know what the difference between this one is. I guess maybe, oh, he's probably talking about, yep, yep, he's talking about right here. I was about to say like maybe things that are more significant than just, oh, get me a, a carrot or get me a hot pepper to rub on my knee or whatever, right? So, yeah, this sounds like bigger missions and stuff like that. So that's, that's cool. So, Robin and I came up with the idea of a special orders board where people can post bigger jobs than 
uh, would make sense for the old billboard outside of Pierre's. Ah, eh, makes sense. That's a pretty good idea, Robin. <laughs> yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I think I have some extra hardwood, actually, so that's good. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from this board. Okay, so... Uh, we could check this board here, hopefully after this cutscene, and see if she actually has a hardwood mission. We could accept it, because I, like I said, I think we have a little bit extra, uh, and I think we get that from those giant trees, those giant uh, stumps in our area, which we still need to continue cleaning out, and we'll get a lot more of that, right? Who knows? Maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. And I better get a cut of that money, huh? I look forward to helping. Heh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let's do this one. I look forward to helping. There you go. I thought- wait, hold on, wait, which voice did I give him? I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Waffle. I'm like, I'm trying to give him like some weird nerd voice or something. And we got a good relationship point with uh, Robin right there. And I assume Lewis would have done have a heart above his head. So, we can say that you're on board! <laughs> Jeez, these terrible puns. First Mayor Lewis poops his pants. <laughs> and she's like chuckling to herself now while Mayor Lewis is groaning to himself. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care, Waffle. Alright. She's still chuckling to herself with that on board, like little, little, little joke that she just did right there. Oh yeah, it's 1pm right now, okay, so it was probably something like going into the city at 1pm, and there's Abigail. I don't have anything for you right now, I'm kind of in a rush. Uh, oh, and I guess we could check up on that board, because it's kind of on the way to the, the, the school or museum or whatever, it's like right here, right? Yep, there it is right there, boom! And I assume if we open it up, it kind of pauses time in the background, right? Uh, Robin's resource, oh, there's two missions actually we could choose from, yep, choose one. Ooh, choose one, so that means if I choose this Robin one over here, I can't do this, uh... Linus one, ooh, or if I do the Linus one, I can't do the Robin one. I guess we could read each one of them real quick, and yeah, time pause in the background, so that's good. Uh, Robin's resource, Rush. I'm putting on, or, uh, yeah, this is just me reading out loud, I don't have to do her voice for this. I'm putting on a little promotion, just for fun. If anyone can collect a thousand pieces of stone in a week, they'll earn the reward. And you can keep the stone too, Robin. Alright, I think she had a pretty, pretty similar mission uh, earlier on in the series to get a decent amount of supplies and we got to keep it right. Or something like that, so, someone had a similar mission to that. I assume this thousand pieces of stone, because it says right there, if anyone can collect a thousand pieces of stone in a week, they'll earn the reward. I assume any stone we have right now doesn't count towards that, kind of like that mission for uh, Clint where we had to get, oh man, I'm almost out of energy, by the way, golly, I have an ice cream, or emergency ice cream I could eat too, but uh, I assume it's like that Clint mission where he wanted like 20 pieces of, like, copper ore or something like that, and I had that, but he wanted the copper ore to be like freshly mined or something like that, right, so I assume we have to get a thousand pieces of stone, that, that's kind of a good excuse for us to go mining, but I don't know if I want to do this right now, let's read uh, Elias's over here real quick, community cleanup, maybe this one's a better mission to do, and I, I actually I assume if I don't accept either one, I could always... I could always come back a little bit later and accept you the one, right? Or maybe tomorrow they have different missions. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. <laughs> I know, you're telling me, Linus. I've fished so much trash out of the water. Just go ask Haley. Uh, why don't we fish some out to make the valley mu uh, more beautiful, Linus? And we have six days to do each one, so that's interesting. I don't know if I want to do either one. Like I said, I, I might just not accept either one right now. Maybe, maybe tomorrow they'll be different, or maybe tomorrow... Uh, what, what am I saying? I don't know. Maybe next episode I'll, I'll be... Oh, and I didn't check the TV or anything like that. But, uh, perfect. Penny's right there. Golly, there's so many thoughts going through my head right now, you guys. It's insane. Like, I'm, I'm going a mile a minute right now. It's insane. <laughs> I'm stumbling all over my words. I'm going from one subject to another. I've got 4,000 notes written on the second monitor over here of things I want to do. And I'm not... Time is just flying by as well. We need to go over to Marnie's Ranch, like, in the next two hours as well. <laughs> so, we need to hurry up. That's why I have the game paused in the background while I'm talking right now. Anyways... Penny, uh, let's see, give her the gold star poppy, boom, a birthday gift, or a birthday gift, that's very kind of you, I love it, alright, well there you go, hopefully got a really good uh, relationship point with uh, Penny right there, and we need to talk to her too, I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today, they're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life, yeah, okay, that's good, like we already knew that, journeys across the gem sea, wait, what, didn't we read that already? I think so, and I like how I get in here, and Vincent and Jazz immediately get up and leave. <laughs> it's like their excuse to get out of school is that I'm distracting the teacher. So they're like, hey, hey, she's distracted, let's go, let's get out of here before she notices. <laughs> but uh, speaking of getting out of here, we need to go, go, go over to Marnie's ranch. I'm like, we have a little bit of money right now. I don't know if we have enough money to get two chickens, but I guess we could go at least go see how much they cost. And uh, while we're in the area, we could probably dig up 
a, uh, a route from Marty's Ranch. Yeah, see, right here we have some cows, chickens, or uh, just cows. Are there any chickens there? It might be, like, inside there, though. But let's go over here. Let's go talk to her, see if we can actually get any. Oh! Whoa, Shane! What happened to Shane? Shane? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. It looks like he's, like, passed out from blue cans of something. Oh, dear! You know what? I'm not doing going to do these weird voices for this serious cutscene. Waffle, can you do something? He's out cold. Come on, help him. He's currently my best friend. If you don't count Demetrius. Bah. Well, don't just stand there, self. Watering him? <laughs> what? <laughs> he wakes up immediately. What? Shane, what's the matter? Okay, whatever. I'm do I'm already doing the voice. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer. Yeah, see, so you, you're just going to become like Pam, Shane, if you keep that up. And you don't want to become like Pam. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I don't think that was the voice we gave him earlier. I'm worried. And there's this little sister, Jazz. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? I assume that's his little sister, that's why she's here. Plan? <laughs> Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Whoa! Jazz jumping in the air and crying and running away. Jazz! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's really struggling. Well, this isn't good. Man, and then we have this happy-go-lucky heckin' music playing in the background now. All of a sudden, really? Really? <laughs> Oh my god, and I don't even see her here. There's no one out front to, for me to talk to. Where in the world is she? Wait, she- oh, she's probably like hanging- uh, it's 3 p.m. right now, it's long. Can I not tell- where in the world is she? She's not here. Let, no, this isn't- this is- why is there a living room covered with heckin' hay? Like what? Like what? <laughs> 320 right now, is she out here? Man, oh, and there's a mushroom over there we can go get. Ah. Uh, see, I- I- Closed for the- what? Oh, she must be closed on Tuesdays then. Because Pierre is closed on Wednesdays. Someone else was closed on some other day. I forgot. I, I think it was, uh, what was his name? The, the Willie down here. I think it was closed on uh, Saturday or Sunday or something like that, right? Unless it's raining, I think, right? Uh, and I guess she, I guess it makes sense for me to write this down. Let me go write this down. Okay, so Pierre closed on Wednesdays and Marnie closed on Tuesday. There you go. Uh, Willie closed on I'll just put Saturday you guys can't see what I'm typing here I'm typing it in my nose but just kind of just want to make note of that uh, so this kind of sucks I wanted to buy some new chickens but I guess I can't because I guess she's uh closed today so that kind of sucks and uh Shane can I I assume I can go inside Shane's room like will stop me right yep. is there anything for me to explore over here it looks like he's got some sort of game console over there it doesn't look used but it's maybe a collector's ball Ooh. What is this? Mega Station? Is this a PlayStation here or is this a uh, Sega Genesis? It's a Mega Station. There's a game in it, but it looks routed through the cold Code Sultan XL. Looks like someone's been cheating. Ooh, ooh, he's got a Game Shark plugged in there. What's that thing? There's a book on the ground. How to race? Hey, I need that book. <laughs> that's that's the book I need to read. Someone someone put that book in my comments last episode. Looks like he's using the radio as an alarm clock. Eh, pretty standard. And can I turn his TV on to see what the? I can't see what the weather and the news and all that kind of stuff is, unfortunately, man. And it's about 4 p.m. right now, so, she, so she's going to actually hold on. She she's going to walk through the door now. It's closed. Let me wait until it's like 4:10, and I can hopefully still talk to her. I don't think so. What is this mission, by the way? Delivery. Oh, yeah, I didn't bring the wither. I'm not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. Whatever. Anyways, I did see a mushroom over here. I, I guess we have to wait until tomorrow to buy chickens, but uh, whatever. Buy the mushroom, common mushroom. Keep foraging around here. Boom, blackberry. Boom. We have uh, two. Oh, and there's that guy. Wait, who's. What's this guy? Like, hold on. Sam, I think his name was? Uh, I doubt I have anything on me right now that he might like. Yeah, there he is. Uh, yeah, we only have one heart with him. He, he likes blueberries. He doesn't like salmon berries, so. I assume he'd like the blackberry. I think I have. An extra blackberry at home, so I guess I can give him this one. Uh, you got that for me? Thanks. All right, that sounds like he liked that, so that's good. I like that. Mushroom over here as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I do want to get... What is it that we're missing? Hold on, what are the other ones? Yeah, we have common mushroom. We also need to get blackberry, which I said I think we have an extra one at home. We need to get hazelnut and wild plum, and then we can get 10 wild fall seeds and get those uh, foraging items growing in our farm as well. That's going to be really good. But I... Hold on, what are the hazel... I know the hazelnut kind of, I know what it looks like, but 
it, it will definitely blend in hardcore with everything being brown and orange and stuff over here, you know? Man. And here's the, yeah, there's the wizard's tower over there. And I know that hat mouse lives down there as well. And I guess we could fish over here. And I, I still don't know if I want to go do that, uh... One of those specialty missions or whatever specialty uh, quests, whatever they call. Oh, and by the yeah, this thing. Golly, I forgot about that. No, do not eat that. Well, I guess I yeah, I guess I can go to the community center as well. I could put that uh, ghost fish up. But speaking of fish, let's get the bait out of that. Put the bait in this. Boom. There you go. Put the bait back on the fishing rod. Blip. There you go. And I am still not seeing anything else around here. I guess if I, I'm like yeah, I don't have the uh, yeah, I don't have the scythe. So I can I'm like. I'm going to make a path from the bottom of the farm to the top, but I can't get any hay out of it, unfortunately, right? I think I need the- I think I specifically do need the scythe for that, so, uh, let's actually try and get on out of here. There you go. Try and make a little bit of a pathway. Uh, or I could just- well, actually, yeah, we don't- hold on, yeah, look at this. There's our farm boom. Okay. <laughs> I guess we don't need much of a pathway, right? So there you go, we have that pretty much done. Kind of want to keep going around- oh, and by the way, yeah, let me pet my dog. Boom. I guess if anything, we can go foraging a little bit. We can go up here, go foraging, hopefully find those uh, those other things. If I want to get them at least started growing, that'd be nice if I can get them started growing on the second day. And hold on. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we gave Penny her present. I'm just going through my notes right now to see if there's anything else we... Like, before this day ends, you know? Yeah, okay, I put the mayonnaise machine over there, and I just... Yeah, I, I guess if anything, I could dispense more hay out of that. Uh, but I'm, I, I'm like, it's not really that big of a priority, and I... Uh, by the way, last episode was the shortest episode of Heckin' Stardew Valley, but I missed out on, like, so many worms. Some guy left a comment with, like, six or seven time codes that I missed worms at, so that really sucks. <laughs> Even though it was, like, the shortest episode of Stardew Valley yet. Where in the world were these worms? Heels I didn't click on all of them, but... Man, I don't know where in the world they are. Golly! Anyways, let's go down here in the community center and go put the, uh... Oh, yeah, and then apparently, yeah. Apparently, uh, worms will reset. Oh, hey, Robin. Uh, worms will reset on, like, Sunday of every, uh, week, so that's kind of an interesting thing to think of there. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. I know that. Plus, your business supports the local economy. Well, hey, why don't you buy some of the stuff from me? And, uh, that'll support the local economy as well. Anyways, uh, is there any, you know, worms I'm seeing right now? Unless I'm extremely blind. <laughs> but, uh, let's go over here. Let's go put the, uh, the ghost fish up inside the aquarium thing over here. Uh, special, yep, yeah, specialty fish. Ghost fish, boom. All right, so that's done. And I don't know if we're going to get any progress with anything else, at least for right now. But I do just want to keep at least foraging for uh, hazelnuts and plums. So I can get that, uh, that, that that wild fall seeds done. And I do know some... Oh, 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 something up there. Oh, I think it's just more blackberries. Yeah, see, it's getting dark. It's like things are really starting to blend in right now because everything's getting so dark. But at least I was able to spot that right there. Is that one? What is that right there? What is it? No, I guess that's nothing. And I, yeah, some of these plants and stuff are moving over here as well, which is kind of distracting me. So I might be thinking that they're worms when they're not. Man. But I'm definitely not seeing any hazelnuts or anything right now, so that kind of sucks. Missing out on those. Man. I'm like, if, if anything, there could be some down here. I'm like, yeah, I didn't I didn't forage at the beach or anything like that today, so I suppose we could do that too. And I don't, I don't know if we've ever seen any uh, foraging things down here. Like, ever. And yeah, we have this right here. I don't know, I kind of want to move this. Crap pot. Do I want to move that or want to want to want to keep that there? Hmm. I'm like at least I can see it pretty easily, so I'll also fill that back up with another bait. And boom, there you go. All right, perfect. Is this different or is this the same? Uh, okay, it's the same. I know, I know it's the same day, but I don't know. It might it might have changed like throughout the day or anything like that. But I guess I guess they're the same. Definitely want to check it tomorrow though and see if it's different tomorrow. If that's the case, is this something? I guess not. Uh, if it's different tomorrow, then I guess, yeah, every day you have different missions there, kind of like the other bulletin board, so that's kind of interesting. What is this oyster there? Ooh, not bad. Put the bait there. I guess, yeah, this is like the first time in a while that we've actually harvested or uh, gotten stuff out of each, like, clam pot, or, or uh, crab pot, and actually uh, put bait back in e inside of each one in a while. It's been a while since we've done that, but... I oh, well, there's coral there. Yeah, see, it's a lot harder to see things at night here. That's why I'm kind of hovering over. Let's see if there's, uh... And then it pops up underneath my mouse, but I am not seeing anything. Might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Compared to me, but I am not seeing any worms. I'm not seeing anything. No whirlpools over here for fish. Mmm. Yeah, you know, that got me thinking. Like, do I want to do that mission for Willy? Or what is his name? Linus. 
to get the fish or to get the trash out of the water. That one might be a lot easier than getting a thousand stone. But I feel like this could just going to be a lot of like boring, literally just me fishing for literally like a whole episode of me fishing. I don't know if I actually want to end up doing that. And I'm like, it's a lot more exciting to go to the mines and go over there. And, like, you know, I'm like, I need to go over there anyways, get copper if I want to make those taps. Right. Yeah. Two copper bars there. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that next episode or something like that. Cause I, I'm like, I, there's still things I want to do, like with the chickens and stuff of like that later on this episode. So maybe we'll do that next episode. And I got comments last episode saying, yeah, you put this tapper on like any type of tree. Don't need to be like any specific type of tree or anything like that. So that's going to be really good. But let's go back home. And, you know, there's still that area above uh, where the bus stop is, where we can still forage for. Uh, but it's unfortunate that unforage in it. Did I do that joke? I think I've done that joke before, but I said forage in it, right? And I'm not seeing any. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something there. What is that? Hazelnut. Hey, that's good. I don't know if there's a plum around here. There might be, and I just don't really, I'm not really too familiar with what it looks like, but at least we got three out of the four ingredients that we're missing there, so that's good. Let's keep going, and we already watered everything over here, right? I believe so. Let me open up this, put that back on the fishing rod. I'm not seeing anything else. So every every forging thing that we picked up, by the way, was silver stars. So that's actually kind of surprising. Let's try and sell something. I guess we can sell this gold star corn, right? Like, we'll stop and let's get a little bit of money. Especially because we're down to $580 right there. I guess I'll sell, I guess I'll sell the silver star uh, common mushroom. So there you go. Just because we have a regular one right there. So yeah, we have three. Oh, and by the way, driftwood. Someone said someone like driftwood. I guess I could sell the oyster. Or was it the community center that liked the driftwood? I doubt that. Yeah, not. Oh, hazelnut. There. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Uh, the community center wants every type of foraging thing for every season. So definitely makes sense to keep those. But uh, it makes sense also to. Uh, oh, wait, one of the room. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I could sell that. Get a little bit of money out of that. Yeah. Then we have this one right here. And then a common mushroom right there. And we have a lot of those because we have that heckin' cave over there, right? But, uh, oh, yeah. Man, there's so many things that I keep going like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll keep this driftwood, by the way. Um, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, the, the, the preserving jar right there. You guys saw it. We made it last episode. And apparently that preserving jar, like the way that works. Oh, yeah, we don't have that much stone here anyways. So we do need to go back to the mines. But the way that preserving jar works is that it takes like a day and a half or two days or something like that for it to actually go. And, uh, like, like, finish making the preserves, so that's a pretty interesting little detail there. We have two driftwood now, so that's good. So, uh, definitely want to check up on that tomorrow. What is our, uh, weather tomorrow? I might as well check. Beautiful and sunny? Okay, perfect. Uh, someone actually commented saying that, like, the chickens, if you have them and it's, and it's raining outside, they'll stay inside. And there's a, no, no, I don't, I think I missed out on something else. I guess I'll show you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Just because uh, there's so many notes, there's so many things I need to talk about, I probably missed out on a lot of them. Uh, but we got a little bit of money right there. We got uh, gold star corn for 82 right there. Not bad. Silver star coral for 100. Silver star clam for 62. Silver star common mushroom for 50. Not bad, especially because we have that mushroom cave and we get six mushrooms every single day. Good money there. Silver star blackberry, 25. And eh, not bad. I guess I can't complain. And we got oyster or whatever there for like 50. I don't know. Either way, progress has been saved. Day three of fall year one has started. And yeah, we, even though we harvested crops yesterday, uh, raising animals. What? Oh! Robert, the local carpenter, lives north of town and will exchange raw material. Okay, so we got 100 gold from uh, her building the chicken coop right there. Cool. All right. And now we... What, <laughs> don't fish inside of the house. What am I doing? But uh, I might as well... Yeah, I might as well check the TV, too. Uh, weather report. Check this. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Ooh, that's going to be bad. But speaking of rain, I'll, I'll talk about that here in just a sec. Mildly perturbed today. Luck is not on our side. That sucks. But we also have clean of sauce. Was it going to be? Whoa, this is a big thing here. Bread. Bread making can be a very complex form of art, but I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredient is flour, of course. But before we create the dough, we'll need to activate our yeast. They prefer warm water and a little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple syrup will do. Interesting. You learn how to cook bread. Huh. I'm like, it's the most basic sort of thing to cook, so it's good that we got that, right? So that's good. Uh, the preserves are still going. I wonder if we have to wait until, like, the like I said, it was, like, either one and a half days or something like that. Uh, so that's good that we have that hopefully going to finish later today. We have another thing in the mail, too. What is this? What in the world? Oh, there you go. Oh, and by the way, the music today is really nice and calming. I love that. Dear valued customer, thanks for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon, Pierre. Sorry for the stock message waffle. Enjoy. 350 gold. Huh. I guess that's a, that's a cool benefit there. I guess. I don't know if you'd get the same benefit from Joja Mart. I, know, I guess if anything, you also get the benefit of their prizes being cheaper or something like that, right? Uh, but I'm supporting local businesses with Pierre, so I don't even think I've ever bought anything from Joja Mart now. I think about it. 
Maybe I have and someone's going to remind me in the comments. I don't know. Dear Waffle. Oh, this is from Marnie. We need to go. We need to go over there anyways. But she wants a bunch of amaranth plants. We don't have those. Oh, I, yeah, we didn't buy them last episode. We bought some other plant or some other flower last episode. Uh, Dear Waffle, I'd like to give my cows a special treat. They're such good girls and hungry, too. Could you bring me a bunch of amaranth? They love the stuff. Thanks, dear Marnie. I might as well accept the quest. I assume this is one of those quests that doesn't have an expiration, right? Yeah, so I can just get, bring in a bunch of I, I could I could always buy some amaranth, like, seeds or whatever, like, right now, and just get those going. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want to water all my crops. Uh, the good thing is that the rare seed right there is already watered, because we have the sprinkler right there, so that's good. Let's get these water right here, these stragglers. Let's get these water. I think that's wheat that we have right here, which is kind of an interesting little thing. Uh, kind of want to have a rhyme or reason as to the shape that I'm watering things in. Honestly, because I'm kind of haphazard right now. I might as well just keep going here, and then I'll go from left to right. But, 7 a.m. I, I, think, I think Marnie's opens at 9 or something like that. Oh, whoops. Uh, so we, we, we definitely want to go visit her pretty soon and go buy those chickens. Uh, but we do have a little bit more money right now, which is good. We got a little bit of money from that rebate from uh, Pierre, which is great. So hopefully those chickens aren't going to be too expensive. Uh, but hopefully we're not going to have to worry about, like, watering all these things quite as frequently here in the future once we actually have the farming thing done. And yeah, none of these are ready to be harvested, so I guess we're not going to get any farm XP for today to actually get that much closer to, uh, to getting that sprinkler. But we are, we're only one level away from actually getting that. I think I already watered that. Yeah, we're only one water away, or one level away from actually getting the, uh, the new sprinkler, so that's going to be good. And these right here are even watered by the sprinkler. What in the world? How did I what? What? Did you guys see? I'm standing right here, but I was able to water right there. That's kind of crazy. Kind of surprised by that. But I think everything should be watered. On this side, it's just that there's two or three. Oh, man, I'm out of water now, man. But I think everything over here should be watered, except for these right here and these right here. So this is going to be good. Let's get these done here. And boom. And we're already half on energy. So don't want to waste. Oh, and there's one right there, too. Okay. There you go. Okay. I think everything's watered, so that's good. Uh, the preserves are still going. Uh, I might as well keep that in my inventory. And then we have the slingshot. Why do I have 26? Oh, no, that's 26. I guess I can get that stone out of the slingshot. Like, when am I... Yeah, when am I going to use the heckin' slingshot? I don't know. <laughs> might as well get the scythe, just because I'm probably going to use it pretty soon. Uh, it's 8.50 a.m. right now. Uh, something I was talking about, because it's going to rain tomorrow. Apparently, you can uh, open up this little, like, doggy door, chicken door, or whatever. And that lets chickens, like, explore around during the day if it's not raining. Otherwise, I'll hang out inside of here, right? So that's a pretty interesting little thing, by the way. Okay, yeah, I put the hay inside there already. But if it's raining, I guess I'll stay inside and you want to keep this shut. But I'll keep it open at least for right now because we're probably going to have chickens here in just a bit. Uh, but I also want to go check on this cave before I forget, too. Let's go see what's going on over here. So, oh man, we have the purple mushroom now. I think that's the first time we got the purple mushroom. So, might want to go to the, uh, the community center, I believe. I guess I'll check on it here in just a sec. Is the community center? Yes, it wants the purple mushroom. Where is that going to be? It's going to be probably the crafts room? Exotic forge? Oh, we are, yeah, okay, we already have that. Maple syrup, oak resin. Well, we're probably going to get those, one of these three right here uh, from the tapper things once we actually get those. But I think we just need a lot more wood and a little bit of copper, which we're probably going to work on that next episode, like I said. But for this episode, I definitely want to go over to Marnie, go talk to her, see if we'll buy some chickens. And I believe the fastest way down there is right here, go through all this. And there's going to be like a straight path down that we kind of already carved out. Yeah, like right here. Look at this. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I definitely want to get rid of all that stuff if I have a lot of time, right? But for right now, boom, now we're down here. And let's keep our eyes peeled for any hazelnuts or plums or whatever around here, too. We could use those for uh, forging stuff, but I am not seeing anything. It's 1020 a.m. She should, yeah, she's, uh, she's definitely open right now. I know there's a lot more forging area to the right I can go check up on. Might as well go do that real quick. Just because I know. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah. Weren't there. Like, there are spring onions that. Grow. Oh, yeah. Look at that common thing right there. There's a fucking bird. It got scared for me. Probably worms over here I'm missing out on, too. But there were uh, spring onions that grew, like, here or something like that. There's been, like, nothing that's grown there ever since, which is kind of interesting. There's still all this trash over here by the sewage, which sucks to see, but. Yeah, I'm still not. I'm not seeing any plums. I'm not seeing anything other than that one common mushroom we got right there, which might, I might actually end up eating. Yeah. Get a little bit of energy from that, which is good. No plums over there either. I, there might have been plums there, but completely missed out on it. That's the only foraging thing for fall so far uh, that we're missing. So uh, we have everything. We have the blackberry, we have the common mushroom, we have the, uh, the hazelnut, and I believe... Oh, man, the cows aren't here, even though it's sunny right now. That doesn't make any sense. But if you go here... Yep, there she is. Hey, Mayor Lewis, what are you doing here? Uh, what? Well, I don't know. Uh, hold on. I think I know the voice I did. 
I'm just here to make sure all of Marnie's business needs are met. Oh, that's good. Will you check him out? I'm like, we've seen him already uh, talk to Clint and stuff like that in the past as well. Purchase animals, supply shop. So I go, okay, I can buy. Oh my gosh, one hay is $50. Jeez, she's making bank off of that. <laughs> Shears used to collect wool from sheep. Gather milk from your animals with a milk pail. Heater right here keeps your animals warmer and happier during the winter. Might want to save up for that. That's going to be later on in the uh, in the month. You know, right before winter actually starts. Uh, ornamental bay hail. I don't know if I actually need the heater thing if they have a building to keep or to stay inside. Right? I don't know. Might want to either look that up or let let me know in the comments. But I do want to buy animals. So purchase animals. Boom. Chickens. Uh, chicken 800 gold. I do have money for at least one chicken. Well cared for adult chickens lay eggs every day. Lives in the coop. Someone said to get... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I have the right setup right now. Someone said... Where was it? Where is it in my notes? I have so many notes right here. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, someone said to buy one brown and one white chicken. I think that's this. Yeah, there's one brown, one white chicken right there. And if I don't get one, like one of each chicken, I can just back out of here. Uh, I guess with this button and then check again and it's going to like reset, right? But I think we got it right now. That's one brown and that's one white right there. So I think we have it right here, you guys. Looks like we get two chickens at the same time though, which is good. Let's do it. Boom, 800 gold, boom. Choose a coop for your new white chicken. Oh wait, what? So is it really just one or is it both of them? Is that Zaish? Yeah, hold on. T2, Jobo, Kiku, Prala, Mutsi, Mef, Kusi, Snurnarf, Pillars, Fer, Frinny, what the, Bracha? Are these like completely like random, like literally random, like actual random assortment of letters names here? Or they actually write these down in the game? I don't know. <laughs> Zek, Zacha. Okay, we have Zongus. I guess we could have Zacha there. <laughs> there you go. Great, I'll send little Zacha to your, why does she have this voice? <laughs> Marnie says, great. I'll send little Zacha to her home right away. All right, there we go. So uh, we got a white chicken there. So if I purchase another animal, uh, well, I don't have enough money, obviously, but uh, we got a white one right there. Okay, so I guess you only find out after you start buying them. That's how you find out. I guess this, this symbol, our icon right here is always going to have a one brown and one white then, huh? So we have one right now. We bought one right there. If we come back with a little bit more money, which we could definitely do, like, uh, what time is it? It's 11.50. Um, we have a see. I guess we can go to Pierre's real quick. Let's go to Pierre's. Uh, sell some of the gold star stuff that we have stashed away. Get a little bit of money. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we'll come back. And we should... What, what time is she close again? Four? I'm trying to think in my head. Can we... Yeah, four p. Most days, by the way. So, yeah. Closed on Tuesdays. So, that's cool. But, let, let's go up here. Let's go grab the gold... Uh, gold star, anything, a few gold star things. Oh, and by the way, did I mention it just a minute ago? Someone said to make another scarecrow. I don't know how expensive that is. Where is that? There it is right there. Uh, 50 wood. Okay, we could definitely do, okay, cut down another tree and another coal and then 25. We could do that. We do that. I guess I can cut down this tree real quick. Get a little bit of, oh, and there's a stump right there too. So, uh, I think we have like 40 wood. So cutting down this tree or at least the top of it and leaving it stump or something like that should be fine. Okay, all that wood's done, and then, uh, golly, 14 wood, 17 wood right there, booms, 18 wood, nice. And we have some saplings growing right there as well, might, might want to get those cut down, but let's go inside, let's go inside, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> let's get another scarecrow going. Let's grab our wood, grab some, uh, fiber, I think that's all we need, actually, right? No coal as well, okay, one random, uh, what? Where's the coal coming to play there? I don't know, I'm kind of confused by that, honestly. Let's pull up, crafting, scarecrow, okay, boom, perfect, so let's put these back. And there, and that, and wood. And yep, I think that's good. Let's go over here to the gold. Okay, so we can go to Pierre and go sell something. Okay, yeah, gold star sea urchin, yeah, boom. Core. Oh, actually, yeah, I don't think he sell I don't think he buys any of that. Hot pepper, we can give that to Shane and stuff, right? Silver star hot or uh spice berry and we have a lot of like silver star sweet peas and stuff here. We need I think it's 850 for a chicken rice, so we have a halibut there. I can sell to Willie, but I don't know if I'll be able to go all the way over there in time. 11 Silver Star Hot Peppers. That's amazing. And we have eight. Uh, I guess I can sell a few of these. And we have some grapes, too. And then we have a Silver Star Melon there. A few hops here. Silver Star Hops. And we have, of course, this right here. I just don't know if this is going to be enough money, right? We need to get about 270, and we should be good to go. I just don't know if this is going to be enough. Get the gold sweet pea there. Yeah, well... Oh, you only get zero energy. What? 
That's kind of weird. I guess, I'll, yeah, you know what? Let's sell them anyways. I don't think anyone's recipe is going to need them. Right. And we need the money. It's kind of important. So I guess, I don't know, I kind of want to keep at least one of everything, you know? Like, I'll sell, I'll sell all the silver except for one. I guess I'll sell all the spice berries except for one. Sell all the silver star grape except for one. I'll, I'm more comfortable with that. And it's 12.50 right now, so we go to Pierre's. And then go back to Marnie's in the next, like, two and a half minutes. I think we can do that. So let's go over here. I, there's probably st Oh, man, there's a plum. Oh, man, there's a plum right there. Okay, let's come back. We definitely want to go grab that plum. Do not forget about that plum. We need to get the heckin' plum. And then we can get the fall... Foraging item. We're going to get 10 fall foraging seeds. That's going to be amazing. Going to get that set up. I don't know how long those actually take, and we have a heckin' thing on the billboard right there, but I do not want to. I, I, I don't. Oh my gosh! He's closed on Wednesday's top! No! I forgot about that! Man, I, I was just telling you just a minute ago, too, about how Marnie's closed on Tuesday and stuff. I didn't, I didn't think right there about Pierre's being closed the next day. Golly. Well, Clint wants 30 copper ores, so that means I need to actually go to the mines and get 30 copper ores, and I can keep them after the fact. Maybe we could do that, and that would be a good excuse for next episode? Perhaps. Because I do want to go to the mines, and oh yeah, by the way, I do want to go down. Man, how else can I get money right now? I can't I can't go to Jojo Mart, they don't buy anything from you, and all I have is crops on me right now. I could always go get that gold store halibut and try and sell that back to Willie. I don't know if he'd actually give us good money for that, but I suppose we could. But I'll accept that quest at least for right now. I guess we'll go back over here. Man, this sucks. I don't think I have anything else in my inventory anyone would buy. Man, probably getting comments freaking out about uh, me going trying to go sell stuff to Pierre on a Wednesday. <laughs> uh, that's why I wrote it in my notes just a minute ago to try and like keep track of every store that's closed on like what days. But thankfully, hopefully, uh, we can sell this halibut to Willie. I don't know how much money in, in sea urchin and coral and halibut. I don't know how much money we get out of that, and we could probably sell the was. I don't know how much money we get out of that, but we're going to be pretty good. We need to go down to Willie, like, right now. It, it, it will take a whole entire, like, hour to get down there from here. Because remember, it takes, like, a whole hour to go from one side of the map to your farm. So we need to go there, like, right now. We need to go there, like, an hour ago. <laughs> if I was able to time travel. But going from there to Marnie before 4 p.m., that's doable. That is doable, so... Let's try and go down there, speed run. I th there might have been, I, I guess if anything, I could have grabbed a coffee over there and that might have given us a little bit extra speed and I'd be able to go down there a little bit quicker, but ah, hindsight again. And there's Harvey there, I do not want to talk to you. Oh my gosh, I have a thing right there. I guess I can sell that to whatever his name is, boom. Okay, crayfish, grab that, 240. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's probably going to be things on the beach I want to pick up, but I'm going to have to ignore them. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, soggy newspaper, forget that. Hurry up, let's go to Willie. Oh my gosh, it's 250 right now. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 250, okay. Woo! 200. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Willie. You saved the heckin' day. We have enough money. And then halibut and then crayfish, boom. And then boom, we have enough money to get another chicken. Awesome. Okay. And we're relatively close as well to uh the thing. What is it called? Marnie's Ranch. Our last fish is that that's what we have. Yeah, we have that. Okay. Man, that was 1800 bucks too. Golly. Fisher double bed? Yeah, we don't have it. We don't, we have just a regular bed. That's 25,000 for a heckin' double bed, really? I guess, it, I guess it makes sense. Hopefully by the time we're married and we actually need a double bed, hopefully we'll have a lot more money. We could spend 25,000 like it ain't no thing, right? But we need to go from here to the left side, like right now. Like, jeez, I don't, we should be able to make it in time, I believe. We have enough money. We have the heckin' money. We just, 320. Oh, it's already to get the guy clock! Ah, oh, man, I don't know if there are any, like, speed boots you could have, you, you could wear, or anything like that, but it's 3.30 right now. It's gonna be 3.50 by the time we get to the door, I'm sure, right? 3.30, it's okay, it's 3.40. Oh, my gosh, okay. Hey, Mayor Lewis is still here, what? Uh, okay. That's a little bit weird. Purchase animals, okay. Uh, let's buy the chicken, so... Am I able to... If, if I click on this and it says it's, a, it's another white chicken, I assume I could exit out and then... Like, 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 we could come back again like that person said, right? Let's do it. Boom. Brown. Oh, perfect. Choose a coop for your brown chicken. Perfect. They said to get one white, one brown. We got one white just a minute ago. Boom. Brown. Coot. Cut. Sanny. <laughs> just Sanny. I like that. Honestly, I like that name, but I kind of, we kind of have a Z. Memer. <laughs> Memers. <laughs> we have a... We have a theme of, of, like, animals being started with the letter Z, but we have memers that literally, I cannot deny that. We need to name back in brown chicken memers. <laughs> That's so perfect. Wait, oh, <laughs>
<laughs> Great. I'll send little memers on her wall. Oh my gosh. I can't even read that name out loud with that heckin' voice. Great. I'll send little memers to her new home right away. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, 340. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let's find. Uh, let's keep looking around for the heck of Did I already look for the plums down there? I think I did. Uh, we have the plums at our base, uh, like right outside of our base, anyways. So, kind of want to keep forging this away, see if we can find any like other hazelnuts or what. Oh, yeah, we have that thing right there done. Cool. I forgot what that actually is, but it's like nothing. It's worth like nothing. Periwinkle, yeah, it's worth like basically trash. So, who cares? <laughs> But uh, let's go back to our base over here, and I, I guess we'll go grab the plums. Go grab the uh, make make the full foraging seeds. Get all ten of them. Plant those down on the right side of our farm because I've, I'm like that's kind of where I have it set up, anyways, right? So different one actually start using that. And we have the sickle, right? Yep. And uh, we'll start like there you go, sickling all this. We have three hay. We just picked up like sixty or some of that out of the thing, the uh, the the silo. So hey, it definitely makes sense to get these all uh, cleared out. She's just starting to spread to my actual farm there. So uh, there we go. And a little bit more here, and we have 28 right there. Yeah, so we're we're starting to get a little bit of the hay back that I started uh, that I did or withdrew from the silo using the the coop, which is good. And I assume I could just no, I can't just hold down the button to keep uh, swiping here. So either way, that, that that cleaned out a pretty good amount right there. I'm not complaining about that one bit. Definitely want to keep cutting down trees and stuff from here though. It definitely makes sense to at least get my whole body in all the uh, the tall grass before I swipe. Seems like it's a lot more effective that way, but. Uh, what was I saying just a minute ago? Oh, yeah, let's go check on the chickens over here now. So we have chickens over here, right? But this... Oh, the door is open. So are they just wandering around? Or are they inside of here? Oh, there they are! Hey! Well, hey, I have... Oh, wait, I don't have hay right now. I need to grab the hay here. They said to actually feed them. So do I do that by doing this? Hey, there you go. They love me. Now, did they like me by actually giving them hay there? Or was it because I just right-clicked them? Like the, like the dog. Okay, so it looks like this because... Of... Oh, wait, what in the world? Zacha, age one month baby. And there's heart ratings right there. Yeah, so that, I think the person that gave me that, like, very helpful tutorial on the chickens said there's, like, relationship points uh, with the chickens, just like with uh, all the people around here. So, either way, Zacha seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Yeah, I don't blame you. Change home building or sell for 252 gold. Golly, I don't want to lose that much money that fast. And can I? Okay, so I could rename her if I wanted to. Maybe I'll. Maybe we have memers and zemers. Over, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep Zacha there. <laughs> Now, how was, uh, how am I going to, there's memers, <laughs> memers seems curious, but a little cautious, isn't it? yeah, okay, same, okay, so, nothing new there, now, how do I actually feed them, though, do I just put stuff down here, like, I still have eight, uh, hay in my inventory, I assume they just eat here, just by being on the ground, like, I can't, I can't right click or anything like that here, and there's the water, I assume that just, oh, wait, oh, here we go, okay, that's where you, I thought that's where they, like, slept or something, but I guess, I guess that's where you just put it. So I guess you could only have four. Oh yeah, we we read somewhere. I think it was one of we're reading the, uh, the 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 thing for Robin whenever she started building. Uh, that this is able to hold four chickens. I guess that explains it right there. There's four different slots right there. Cool stuff. Oh, it just turned to nighttime right there. Did you guys see that? that? Was crazy. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's grab as much hay as we. Oh wait, one in the world. Wait, what? How do we get the hay out of it? What? Uh, I am so confuzzled. 68 hay there, and I just deposited the hay back in the heckin' thing. What? Uh... I don't know what happened right there. <laughs> I'm kind of confused now. And it is nighttime right now, so, uh, anyways, like I was saying, let's go grab the plum. Let's go grab the, uh, other thing, like the mu common mushroom, the, the, the hazelnut, and there might be other stuff up here, too. This, this is like a really, just a generally a good area to, and by the way, yeah, I've gotten comments saying, why don't you just cut down the trees over here? Definitely makes sense to cut them down. I'm like, they'll just grow back anyways, right? I just have to plant them down uh, with a heckin', what do you call it? Uh, acorn, yep. And then it'll grow back, right? So it's not that big of a deal if I cut them down. At least it makes it a lot easier for me to start forging over here. And we have worms right there. I literally just point, if I had a heckin' face cam, you would have seen me literally point to my screen as if, <laughs> even though I don't have, <laughs> like, who am I pointing to? I'm pointing, I'm pointing for myself here. Jeez. Uh, anyways, <laughs> and maple, yeah, maple seed, acorn, all those types of things. Uh, that, that's how you get it. But, boom! Okay, never mind. That was just clay. Is there anything else up here? Nope. Yeah, I don't see anything there. But there's a... I don't think these... I don't think you're able to cut down these big trees right here, right? Yeah, the, no knocking or anything like that right there. But I am able to cut down this one, which is good. Uh, but next episode, I definitely want to go back to the mines. Definitely want to get a little bit of copper from the mines. Because we do have that mission for... Uh, whatever his name is. Uh, Clint, we need to get 30 copper ore, which means... We're able to get six 
I think it's five for uh, one thing. So I think we're able to get six ingots out of that. Uh, we're able to actually keep all the ores afterwards, right? So we'll just get uh, 320 gold just for free right there, basically, if we go to the mines next episode and get a bunch of uh, co uh, copper that we're going to need to spend on the tree tapper things to actually get the maple syrup or whatever. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but there was a... Uh, whoops, that was... Oh, yeah, these need to be community center as well. What was I looking for? Yeah, this right here, exotic forging button. We need pine tar, oak resin, maple syrup, one of those to actually finish the exotic forging bundle next episode, but I think we need the tree tapper, or just tapper. Well, I think we need that first, and it needs two copper bars. And uh, I think there was another thing that required copper. I guess, I guess another mayonnaise machine, I guess that makes sense. Uh, but we'll worry about that here in the future. But for right now, hazelnut, um, blackberry. Oh, whoops. Oh, I don't have the room. Whoops. Let me go put up uh, some stuff. I have, yeah, I, I, I have all those, like, Silver Star things. I, I, I what in the world? <laughs> Zongus just, like, moved right there because he knew I was going to come over here and he wanted to block the way. But, uh, I'm like, I could sell those, get a little bit of money. But, uh, eh. And then, <laughs> man, that's a Gold Star Wild Plum. Ah, oh, well, that sucks, but I guess I'll use it anyway. It's not that big of a deal. I'm like, we're probably missing out on maybe, like, 100 gold or something like that, right? I don't know. I don't know how much gold it's actually worth, but there you go. Uh, let's put, oh yeah, I already have a, uh, the mushroom in my inventory, so that's cool. So I have everything here except for the, the, no wait, the blackberry. That's all I'm missing right now. I think we have that, right? I think I just saw it just a minute ago. That'd be this, and yep, there it is right there. Perfect. Okay, so we can make it now. Where is it? Boom! Wild seeds for fall. We get 10 of those, and that's pretty good. All right, so there it goes. We have that. So now, over here on the foraging side of our farm, let's get this done. I'm like, some of it's already done. Definitely makes sense to get another scarecrow on this side as well as one on the bottom side of our farm down there. But let's get this going here. Uh, I'm like, it doesn't have to be too big because we only have 10. Uh, oh, we got Yeah, we got a maple seed there. I saw that. It doesn't have to be too big because we only have 10 seeds here. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that there. Uh, but let's get this here. And then this. Whoops. 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 Wrong, <laughs> wrong direction there. I don't know how to until that, but I need to put the torch back. Oh, I can put the torch on. Wait, what? Hold on. Can I put torches on? Sprinklers and stuff. I don't know if I can. Uh, anyways, fertilizer. Do I want to get fertilizer over here? I kind of want to. Was that just? Oh yeah, it is. Literally, it's just two sap, right? For, for I'm like, it makes sense. Fertilizer gives us a, a higher likelihood of getting more valuable uh, crops, right? It makes sense. Let's do it. Ba boom, basic fertilizer. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Shift clicking crafts five at a time. So yeah, I don't have to spam click it every time, right? So that's cool. Very helpful comments there, you guys. Thank you very much. You guys are super duper cool in those comments. Uh, don't think I don't notice your comments. I literally read every comment. I just don't. I just don't respond to everyone or like heart every one of them. But you do. You do know I have to read everyone. If I'm literally <laughs> like every episode, like, like at the beginning of the episode, I'm always like. And by the way, someone commented this and someone commented that. Like it's pretty obvious by now, right? It's, it's no insider secret that I read all the comments. <laughs> but let's uh, let's plant all these over here. Oh yeah, I can just yeah. It's really easy to plant things. I don't know why I did it that way. But uh, let's water these now. Boom! Big row right there. Big row right there, and then we have to manually water that one. Oh, 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 almost out of uh, energy right there. Boom. And now I'm starting to feel, okay, glad that we got all that done. Um, I'm still curious about the torches. How do you make torches, by the way? It's wooden sap, right? How do I get more? Yeah, wooden sap. I have a little bit of energy. I guess I could try and make some. And it's uh, 11th. Ah, it's not too bad right now. But there you go. And more sap. Okay, let's get more torches. I definitely, and by the way, let's make a bunch of them. There you go, 21, I love that number, it haunts me. <laughs> so, let's get that going. Don't want to keep lighting this area up. Maybe the chicken coop area, too. Now, can I put this on a sprinkler? No, I can't. Man! I can't put it on where a crop is, either. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, there's a ball- Oh, wait, hold on. Is that an intentional bald spot right there? It kind of looked- <laughs> Bald spot? <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I'll, I'll put a thing there at least for right now. I'll put a thing where all these uh, sprinkler locations are going to be. That way it lights it up, and it's kind of a, uh, I'm saving the spot for a heckin' sprinkler. I don't know why I did it like this, though. I kind of want to have it work like this, where there's two spots between each sprinkler. Uh, but I guess I kind of messed up there. Whatever. But anyways, what was I doing just a second? Oh, yeah. Use these other torches over here for the chicken coop area. It's 1230. Golly! It was 1130. Oh my gosh, that owl's huge. But it was just 1130 just a minute ago, you guys. Golly. Uh, it's going to rain tomorrow, too, right? So let's close that up so the chickens don't go outside. I don't know if they're smart enough to just stay inside anyways, but uh, let's do that anyways. Uh, let's keep lighting this up over here. Yep, 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 yep. There you go, cool. And uh, maybe here, too. Yep. I don't know why I have two torches right next to each other right here. Boom, there you go. Awesome. Look at how lit up this area is, you guys. It's kind of, except for down here. 
It's 11.10 or 1.10. Golly, this is getting pretty bad. There you go. Keep lighting up this area. And another one right here. Boom. All right. Nice. Look at how lit up the heckin' uh, thing is over here. You guys are crazy. Anyways, 1.20 a.m. Once again, going to bed basically as late as you can go. <laughs> so there you go. Fall asleep. I uh, probably could have sold some stuff overnight, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. And it's raining, as we already knew. It was going to be raining, so that's good. I don't have to worry about watering all these crops that I have over here. But, uh, looks like some stuff is getting some pretty good progress, which is good. Kind of want to go check up on my chickens, if we have any eggs or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know if they had any eggs yesterday. It might have been too soon to check, but, uh... Oh, well, then again, they're literally just little chicks. There you go. Keep on right-clicking on them. Keep getting them to love me and whatnot. We have food for them here, so I hope they eat that. Am I able to, uh... Why am I not able to dispense... We have hay still, right? It's not empty. Like, I don't know why it just stopped working. This still has hay, huh? I don't think it's empty. Yeah, it has 221 out of 240. Why am I not able to get... Or maybe... Oh, hold on. I might be doing the wrong heckin' button here. I'd be having a heckin' boomer moment or something. <laughs> I'm right-clicking on it. it. What is it? Left-click? No, it's still not working. What? Why is it not working? Uh, I don't know. This... Oh, wait, oh. Just clicked on Zacha randomly right there. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what's happening right here. I was able to get a bunch of hay earlier, but I'm, I'm not able to... Okay, maybe I'm not able to get hay whenever these are all filled up. That's probably what's stopping me. So, that's that's probably why I can't get... A... Can I take that back, though? I don't think... Nah, okay, whatever. Or maybe I hold on. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Alright, well, I, I guess we'll just have to wait. Uh, the, the chicks are still little baby chicks, so... Probably going to be a little while till we actually do get eggs from them, but... At least we have them, right? We have one white one, uh... Oh, what in the world? We're the Shantaro... We needed that for something. So I definitely want to check out that, but... All the stuff I'm doing right now doesn't matter anyways, because it's... It, we're just going to do it again at the beginning of the next episode. And it's another heckin' hour-long video, so hey... Uh, you guys are welcome if you guys love these. Oh, and look at that! The preserves are done! I wonder if they were done last night. I didn't notice. Ooh. So we have this. Spice berry jelly. Awesome. How much money are we going to get from that? Super curious. I guess we'll go to Pierre just... Because I'm like, all this footage doesn't matter anyways, right? So we'll, we'll be doing it again. Oh, and we have plums again tomorrow. Or, uh, next episode. So we'll be able to make even more, uh, foraging seeds and stuff like that. So that's going to be great. I think we still need, like, one more hazelnut and I think one more blackberry. And then we're able to make ten more foraging seeds. So uh, we'll have to worry about that next episode. There's a shame. It's a shame what happened to Shane earlier in the episode, right? Uh, what's happening here? Oh, thankfully we didn't miss out on anyone's birthday. But it's Elliot's birthday here pretty soon. Uh, we'll worry about this some other time. You get uh, two smallmouth bass. I think we've gotten those before. Oh, it's locked until 9 a.m. Okay, whatever. I just want to see how much preserves sell for uh, before we end off the episode. So I'm just uh, waiting for time to pass. There we go. Man, whenever you're looking at the clock, it moves so slowly. But whenever you're not looking at it, it just moves so heckin' fast. $210, honestly, that's pretty good money. I don't know how much money we had from a regular spice bear to about 210 after waiting a day and a half or whatever. That's good money. How much, uh, how, how do you make more uh, preserved things? That's cheap. Especially because next episode I said I wanted to go back to the mines and get more uh, copper and stuff. We can get a lot of stone. And we can keep cutting down trees and then eight coal is kind of expensive. But I'm like, we hopefully we have a stockpile of coal by now we could use. But those preserves jar, preserve, preserves jars. Uh, golly. <laughs> those are, uh, those definitely start paying for themselves quickly, you guys. That's amazing. Also, just for curiosity, even though all this footage doesn't matter because we don't have to redo it anyways at the beginning of next episode, I want to check up on this. Oh, wait. These are the same, but the days went down. So if I start it now, I only have... Okay. I think I understand how this works now. So Thursday would be four days left. Friday would be three days left. Saturday would be two days left. Sunday would be one day left. Wouldn't it be zero days left if it ends? I don't know. Or maybe... Okay. Actually, yeah. If it's zero days left, that means it literally ended, right? Anyways. So if I started this now... To try and do this... And we try and get a... I'm like a thousand pieces of stone. That's a lot of stone. If I'm trying to also get a bunch of uh, copper, right? I don't know if I want to accept... I don't know. Man. Let me know in the comments down below. What do, you, do you guys think I should accept this Robin's Resource Rush mission next episode? Or even Linus's? Let me know in the comments down below. Because uh, we'll definitely have to figure that out next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Hey, saw your newspaper. <laughs>
<laughs> and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because it's going to be like we're getting so much hecking stuff done lately, you guys. You guys do not. Like literally every episode is like heck an hour long now. <laughs> and every episode takes place over two like in-game days. So if you miss a singular episode, you're missing out on a lot of stuff. Because just look at all the stuff we got done this episode. Look at Wreck-It Farm. This is amazing. Ah. <sighs> But <laughs> until next episode, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome video or uh, Stardew Valley. Oh, gosh. OK, I don't want to wave my sword too close. I wanted to do the outro next to the chickens, but not too close to them where I actually can kill them. So, uh, you know, what? let's use the fishing pole. Here we go. Here we go. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, by the oh. There you go. So this is a safe way of because uh, I, I don't want to accidentally kill the. I don't know if I even can kill them, but. This is me waving goodbye, okay? <laughs> so, oh, bye there.